Welcome back to Opinion Journal Live. Dr. John Goodman, president of the National Center for Policy Analysis, joins me now for a quick chat on his new book, Priceless, Curing the Healthcare Crisis. And what a great title this is. I can't wait to have a, a discussion with you about it. So, doctor, what is plaguing healthcare? Why is it so expensive? Well, because we have completely suppressed market forces, and we've been doing that for decade after decade after decade. So you never see a real price, and nor does any other patient, nor does the doctor. And that's part of the reason for the word price. It's, that's a double entendre. It's uh, your health is prices, but also the healthcare system has no real prices. Okay, so doctor, y you hear over and over again, healthcare should be free to be universal. Is that really true? It's the biggest mistake we've made in this country and all over the developed world. We forget that when people don't pay with money, they pay with something else, they're paying with time, and these non-price barriers to care, all of the waiting are more important than the money price of care, even for uh, low-income people. Okay. Well, doctor, there's, an, there's another shibboleth out there which says that, you know, we can't price premiums based on risk. Uh, that somehow wouldn't be fair. The newest treatments are the most expensive treatments, and if we price based on risk, uh, the poor people wouldn't get the best treatments. Is that true? What do you say in the book? That's the second biggest mistake we've made. <laughs> okay, great. In, in both cases, we're hurting the people we're trying to help. We, we're trying to help people with chronic illnesses, so, so we say you don't pay the, uh, you pay the same premium everyone else pays, right? Uh, but the problem is when you do that, then all the insurers run away from people with problems, and they don't do anything special to try to cure their problems. So these are terribly perverse incentives. Better solution is to let people insure for pre-existing conditions. Then if they have to change health plans, their previous insurance helps them pay that higher premium. So doctor, how do we get there? Uh, what needs to be done? Can we reform Obamacare or do we need to rip it down and start all over again? It'd be nice to rip it down and start all over <laughs> again, but basically we have to liberate people. We have to liberate the patient, the doctor, the employee, the employer. This book is all about freeing people up to use their intelligence, their creativity, their innovative ability to solve our problems. Uh, some of the biggest problems, Medicare and Medicaid, they're huge institutions. There's a lot of fraud, a lot of problems in them. Are they reformable or, or does that too need to be ripped down? Well, the Medicare is out there setting as many as six billion prices at any one time, and of course there's no way you can get it all right. And so what we recommend in here is letting the market set prices wherever possible, and we think there are many, many ways to do that. Well, you know, there's a lot to discuss on this topic. I, I wish we had more time. Uh, Dr. John Goodman, president of the National Center for Policy Analysis and also author of this absolutely terrific book. We've got it up there on the screen, Priceless, Curing the Healthcare Crisis. He's also... Uh, the father of health savings accounts, among many, many other things. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks for being here.